Hey guys, Sharkin here, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So recently there's been a lot of talk about class trials and how you use the class trial. Is it like a abuse of the class trial system? So we're just going to be taking a look at the class trials and what's happened actually last night. So I actually use my rogue class trial for, of course, lockboxes because I don't actually play on this server, so I don't have a rogue. So I've just made a rogue for this one and it just has all of these lockboxes and it whenever I can be bothered, as you can see, which was 19 days ago at least, um, I usually open them up. So on this trial character, I've played around 5 hours and 44 minutes. But a lot of people have been abusing the Dark Moon Fair, and there's many other things that you can abuse. So it depends where you sit, if you think this is abuse or not. So this one here, the Dark Moon Fair, they used to go inside, they would bring 100 Dark Moon Dagamore, and then they would also bring those other quest items, the such that you get from like dungeons, the PvP, stuff like that. They bring all those, they do all that stuff, and they get a uh, replica gear. Or they can get other stuff from there. And they sell those in the auction house, and they make a lot of money. Because you can only do that quest once per character. So after you finish with your trial character, you delete him, and you make another one. And they do that every single month, over and over again. I personally think that was a little bit dodgy, but... That's just my opinion, and as you can see, Blizzard has finally stepped in. And you can no longer click the portal on a class trial. When you come here in a normal character, you can just, it's like the big cogwheel, you press one button and you can just go in. Right now, that doesn't exist anymore, and you can't be summoned inside. So there is no way for this level 100 class trial to go in to do the quest. So I would say, from a gold farming perspective, if, I, I doubt this is a bug, like, they're going to fix this, like, you know, back to its original state. I think they're just going to leave it like this. I believe they intentionally fixed this. So what I would suggest is, from a gold's point of view, if you can get the replica gear cheap enough, consider buying it. Because most of the people that were in the replica business decided to do this, and they have, like, a lot of them. And they're selling for quite cheap, considering we had two big content creators. We had Want to Buy Gold, and we had also Student Albatross recently make a video so they're quite cheap at the moment i had heaps of my viewers today buy them for under 10k each which they could raise the price back up to 50 60 because it's, it's not easy to get these anymore if you remove the class trials do i think this is a good thing unfortunately i do not i i believe this is a step in the wrong direction i do believe it did need to be fixed but not like this i believe this is just my opinion that the class trials should no longer, even if it affects me, as you can see, then I just can't use my rogue. No big deal. Shouldn't be able to send or receive mail. That's number one, because, you know, if, if that happened, I would just make my own rogue. It's not really the biggest deal in the world. As you can see, I am abusing it. To some people, they might think that's abuse. Some other people, then just be like, I'm using it for its intended purpose, a class trial, to trial out a class. Should I buy it or not? So... I believe they shouldn't be able to use the mailbox and they shouldn't be able to use the auction house because the auction house is, you fix those two things and it doesn't matter what you come up with. I make a million gold on my class trial, if I can't use the auction house and I can't use the mail, that million gold's just sitting there until I purchase their account. So it's completely pointless and that, that's what they should have done. Just blocking off this one, people are always going to find something else to do with class trial. You're looking at like the class trial 5,000 gold for the rogues. You're looking at um, the one where people used to create a class trial, finish off the starting mission, and then they would get five of the Tomb of Tranquil Minds or whatever the ones that, you know, fix up your talents. Th there's lots of these stuff, and people will just keep thinking of these smart things until Blizzard steps in. That's just my opinion, and I think they should change it because... As gold farmers, we should be making, or as just a general player, you shouldn't be needing this guy. It's just to test out its spells. You should be able to have, you know, all its spells on your, you know, your thing instead of just pick lock. Anyways, that's just what I think. And I'm going to show you guys the beta now. So the BFA beta and why I believe it's also a good thing that Blizzard is stepping in and fixing all these things. All right, guys, I am here now on the beta. So a lot of you guys have been recently, probably like the last few months, have been seeing a lot of monks being AFK and farming. I have also released a few videos on that, but I, I don't see too much wrong with it, but I would like to see it fixed, and even if it got fixed, I wouldn't complain. 
and it is getting fixed. So Blizzard is actually doing some good stuff. As you guys can see, Black Ox statue, still there, Rushing Jade win. But this is for the Brewmaster, which is fine. Perfectly fine, because this one's not permanent. There's no, like, you know, uh, passive AoE. And if we check out the Windwalker, which everybody was on Windwalker, because they're using Chi Orbit and the st statue. Um, as you guys can see, Chi Orbit is gone, and also the statue is gone. Personally, I would have liked the statue to stay as long as there's no permanent AoE. And as you can see, Chi Orbit is gone. Um, the Only recently, the statue got removed. So they're still changing stuff around. There's still time for change. Rushing Jade Wind was changed, and I don't actually like this change. So this change was brought in, as you can see, Rushing Jade Wind is now a permanent, permanent AoE. So when they first removed just Chi Orbit and they left the statue, it was a combo, a very bad combo. So... In my opinion, they should have fixed this one, but it really doesn't matter in the end. Maybe some monks will find use for this. I might as well, because I get the extra movement speed as well. So I believe Blizzard is moving in the right direction and fixing a lot of these stuff. We are about to see the Darkmoon Fair prices rise soonish. Hopefully because people won't be able to farm them as easily anymore. But you've got to remember, there's still some big stockpiles out there from people who had so many, so many, so many Darkmoon Fairs to do it. Every single Dark Moon Fair, they were may maybe doing like 10, 20, could be even more characters, like Class Trials. And we're going to see the Silithus farm also die down, which would see the prices ri raise back up. Maybe not as much as they used to be, but still going to go up. So be prepared for this. And just remember, these changes have, this one hasn't come into effect yet, but the Dark Moon Fair, it's already happened. So get on it while you can. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video. Well, it's not really a quick video, but this video just to show you guys and keep you guys updated with what's happening. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.